Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Y'all, I've been out all day. I haven't really did anything worth vlogging about, to be honest. But I did want to show you guys that I picked up some stuff um, while I was out that I'm very excited about. So, let me show you what I got. Okay, hold on. Why are you bending over if I could just lift y'all up? All right, so today I went and something told me to go inside the thrift store because uh, I've been looking for a trench coat. I think I mentioned this on another Vlogmas video, but I've been looking for a trench coat for um, a few weeks now. And I walk right on into Goodwill. I need to wash it and everything, but I walked right on into Goodwill and found the most amazing London Fog trench coat. Hold on. Move pocket. Move. Move, little girl. Go. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see how long it is. Okay. This is the coat. Pocket. Move. So this is how long it is. Can I get some more light? So this is the coat. It comes to like below my um right below my knee and what's crazy is I've been looking for my own because I cut out some clips from the last video because it was just too much and I wanted to do that separately but I had this one this is my brother's trench coat that my grandfather left behind for him my grandfather passed away a couple of years ago but my grandmother gave this to my little brother and he's had it pristine condition this is a much better brand but <laughs> um it's literally i can't make this up it's the same coat except for mine is actually the color that i wanted i wanted it to be like a light khaki color and that's what i got so i just need to go and you know put it in the washer before i start styling it pocket get out of these bags girl. and I went to the beauty supply store and I got finally I got a wig head like I finally got a wig head I don't know how long I've been needing one of these but I need one because I used to make wigs and all of my old hair supply stuff got like lost and shuffled and thrown away when I was moving and stuff so I finally bought one they only had the 22 inch one so I'm gonna make it work that'll do for now and then I also got these it's I just got this in my Target bag but um I got these from Target I don't know how you can see that let me see the little fluffies So I got these little fluffy slippers from Target. They were only 10 bucks, y'all. And I had a pair, these exact same pair, but my dog, when she was sick, she threw up on my one on one of them. And on the other one, she chewed the back. So yeah, she can't have these, okay? <laughs> so I got those. I got some more Eco Styler because mine was gone. hand soap not interesting I got some hand sanitizer I got some hair ties these are the ones I like I don't know if you guys seen these or have these but these are the ones I like these are it's literally like how you would cut a sock these don't pull my hair out so I like these they were only like I think a dollar and then of course I had to get some hair so I picked because I'm dramatic I picked this hair up these are 30 inch natural black human hair texture. Um, this is a yaki. I like yaki because it's thicker and I already have very fine hair. So I got this. I got 30 inches because I want to be dramatic for a couple of these outfits I'm going to style. And I also wanted to film a TikTok because I saw some girls on TikTok saying like they couldn't put their clip ins in their hair. Like how do they hold, how do they stay in their hair? And I have an easy way to show you guys how to do that 
So stay tuned for that. No pocket. So that's the hair stuff. And last but not least, um, I went grocery shopping. Pocket, get out of the bags. Go to your room. Go to your bed. Go, go, go ahead. You're being bad. Get a dog, they say. <laughs> but anyways. <clears throat> She's gonna annoy me until I pick her up. Tell everybody how bad you're being today. Just bad. Look at your ponytail. It's going to the front. Why is it going like that? This is her face, y'all. She's just bad, so she always look rough. Relax. 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 No, no. Relax. Thank you. Calm. Calm. Hey, hey, hey. She, she's a very hyperactive dog. She's always been hyper. I'm used to it. This will annoy most people, but she's just a hyper dog. I went, I'm telling you guys, I've spent so much money on vet visits just for them to tell me that there's nothing wrong with my dog. She ain't crazy. She ain't bored. She's just a hyper dog. She's hyper, she's curious, she's always into something. And she only calms down around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Look, she's chewing. And then I asked the vet, I said, hey, around what age is she gonna grow out of the puppy phase? Like the, I'm a puppy, you know? And become like an adult dog and like a real calm, chill. They was like, well, it just depends. And they said, honestly, it's just in her nature to just be wild and puppy like she acts like a puppy still like a newborn puppy like a baby look at her like a baby she acts like a baby <laughs> and she's still teething but um i need you to grow up pop pop pocket baby girl sugar plum sweetie pie look at she's just she's just hyper and this is her first time upstairs today so she's just running around as if she's never been upstairs. She's up here every single day. I just let her downstairs all day because one, I wasn't here. My little brother was here, my nephew was here. So they were downstairs and I needed her to be supervised if I was gonna leave her out. So yeah, I don't leave her in her kennel. That's not, no. Especially when I don't know how, how long I'm gonna be gone. So I don't leave her in her kennel unless I bring her with me or she has supervision. And like I said, she's always supervised. <laughs> Pocket. You're not going back downstairs right now. You have got to cut it out. And anyways, like I said before, I was so rudely interrupted by my puppy, um, is that I went to the grocery store. Why am I bending over like this? Like I have a whole tripod. Hello. So like I was saying, I went to the grocery store and I wanted to buy the stuff to make, um, the sushi bake that I keep seeing like all over TikTok. Well, not all over TikTok. There was one lady that did it and it was like really good. So a lot of people will start, then I just start popping up everywhere because I liked her video. So I bought the stuff and I want to try it. So I'm going to try it. We should try it tonight. No, we're not going to try it. We're going to try it tomorrow because it's already getting late and I'm really not that hungry. So I don't want to waste food. Um, I really hate leftovers like that type of leftover like a sushi bag leftover mm -mm -mm. no no ma'am so let's go into the other room because one my dog is being very where's she at oh <laughs> I'm sorry about it. <laughs> she's in her um potty area so give her, give her some time give her some privacy you know is you finish you finish Okay. Okay. You get out. She hates. Okay, look, now she runs out. She was using the bathroom, but. <laughs> good job, good girl. You did a good job. I say that as if it's her first time using it on her own. This dog has never had accidents on the floor, anywhere in the house. I got lucky, I guess, but, um, She's always known where to go potty. The puppy pad thing worked immediately, okay? Immediately. So, 
Kudos. You're not going downstairs. She keeps on. This is what she's doing to me. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go in the room. Go in there because I'm about to go in there to work. Go. Watch her sit down. Nope, I'm just going to wait on you. Okay, I'm going to wait on you. You're my buddy. She's right. I am her buddy. Okay, come on, little girl. No, we're, go we're not going downstairs. Come on. Okay. So now that we're in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Houston. Wow. Whoa. Why am I this color? We'll deal with it. So, I wanted to show you guys something on here. Hold on. That's why I came in here. Mm. Where is it? Here it is. So, this is my notion, y'all. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get y'all like a better angle. can see this but I'm just it's just an example I just wanted to show you something real quick but this is my notion template um I got this from another creator um on YouTube I'll try to find her and link her I believe her name should be like in the notion thing because I don't remember but I'll try to find her and I'll link her down below in case you guys want to copy the exact same template I um downloaded the template and then I clearly edited it for me add it on to it take some stuff off that just didn't I didn't need but this is my content calendar I haven't added in um what do you call it the can I get y'all closer whoa so I haven't added in there's like a glare let me try to cut that light off behind us that looks a little better <laughs> so I haven't added in my content yet for December and that's because I actually put it inside of my notebook already so I need to add it in here just so I can have it and make sure that I'm checking things off but on here everything links so this one is a master calendar at the top am I in the frame okay so this one is a master calendar up top and on the master calendar basically everything that I link in these other calendars so down here this is my uh project tracker for youtube so this has youtube has its own calendar and as you can see over here i had some stuff recreating pinterest outfits productive day with me morning routine um and i put the status is to film i already did it i just forgot to check it off but um once i film once i did film these they would technically go right up here it'll show complete in the master calendar so everything is linked. So this is a Pinterest calendar. This is my blog calendar. And I, I need to change that because I just want it to be like um, probably for TikTok. Or in, uh, it'll actually be TikTok and Instagram. So I'm going to change this instead of my blog calendar. I'm going to put TikTok and Instagram. And then I also have like an agenda where I fill in everything, weekly tasks, um, things to do next month, next week. And I have the archives for when I'm done with all that stuff. Um, I have my keyword planner, which is my amazing, amazing, amazing thing here. But on the keyword planner, you guys, I have keywords for fashion and style. I have keywords for black girls. I have keywords for hairstyling, home decor, social media, my blog. Um, and I add on to these and basically the keywords are all of the things I can use as hashtags, things that I can use to fill in description boxes. And I have this, I did all this research myself and this is what helps me rank and do all the things that I need, um, to do. So honestly, you guys, if you're not into Notion, you probably heard of it, but you should definitely, definitely get into, um, Notion because it is probably a game changer when it comes, excuse me, pocket, I'm sorry. It is probably a game changer when 
a game changer when it comes to um like content creation content planning this thing has kept me on point and all, honestly once you have your notion on there you can link it to your other stuff like i have it linked on my ipad which i always have on me so i fill everything out on my computer most of the time and if i'm on the go and i'm doing a shoot or something or i'm doing trying to get content i can always update it in here with the extra things that i'm doing or the extra things that i need because i have a reading list a habit tracker a journal um, my expense tracker shopping list what else is on there um notes my morning and nights different things i do in morning and night my agenda like i said content planner keyword planner and everything is linked directly back into um notion directly on uh the computer hold on let me try to show you what i mean see oops pocket why do you always sit right in the way so everything is linked directly back onto my notion everything that i put on there on my computer it's linked i don't have to write rewrite or do none of that extra stuff so i'm going to show you that but also one more thing before we get out of here y'all one more thing one more thing and it's the tip that i have for content creators if you are not on facebook you're doing something wrong because i have been on facebook forever but I never use my page on Facebook, like my, not my personal page, but my actual page as a creator. Um, please follow me on there, by the way. I'm almost at a thousand followers on my page. What? So please follow me on there. But what I wanted to say is I've been on the Facebook Reels program. This has been, I think, two months now, the second month. The first month I made a really good amount of money. This month, I'm on track again to make a really decent amount of money. It's great for another income. I'm also on the Instagram Reels bonus, but the Instagram Reels bonus, um, the payout is not the same as Facebook. Even though the companies are intertwined with each other, it's not the same. So the Instagram Reels bonus that I'm on right now, um, I've been on Instagram Reels bonus for three months now. I made both of my payouts or whatever for the first two months. This is my third month. But the payout structure is so different. They want you to post so much just to make some money. And on Facebook, you're doing the exact same thing except for on Facebook, there's so many people searching for things on there that the algorithm puts you under the right people. And those people end up following you, commenting, sharing, doing all the things. And so it's easier to make money because on Facebook, like I said, that platform has so much diversity on there that it's easier to rank. So if you're not on Facebook, this is your sign to get on Facebook and try to post like your regular content, take your content from TikTok and Instagram and post it onto a Facebook page. It have to be a business account or a creator account. I forget what it's called on Facebook, but you'll figure it out. And then <laughs> post on that page. Make sure you take off the watermarks from TikTok and all that stuff and then post on there. Grow your page. And once you get to like a certain amount of views, you will be invited into the Reels bonus program. They start you off with certain bonus uh, sizes. Usually they're not small, but they start you off so that you can get into a ha the habit of posting. And once you start seeing those posts, you can be like, wait a minute, what? Okay. And also I get paid from um, ads on my Reel, which is, a, which is separate from the Facebook bonus Reels program. I get paid from ads as well. So... I ain't gonna tell you what to do with your life. I'm just telling you, you know. I'm just, I'm just telling you. You should get on Facebook. Anyways, so that's it for today, guys. You know, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing fun or, like, exciting. And that's just real life. Um, I planned some content. I've been running errands with my sister all day. We went grocery shopping. Um, I could have vlogged it, but honestly, it was so crowded because, of, you know, it's the holidays. The stores were crowded. The lines were long. Um, I had... No time to be holding my camera, bumping into stuff. And also, my sister is very pregnant. So, I was really more being the hands-on person, lifting things, moving things into the cart. It just would have made for a horrible, horrible, horrible vlog of my sister trying to hold the camera for me. So, <laughs> tomorrow would be more interesting. But thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And I'm so grateful for you guys for tuning in, for following me. I really appreciate you guys. Vlogmas has been really fun for me. Um, like I said, tomorrow will be, will be more exciting. <laughs> but um, today was an errands day and it was not cut out for a camera. But anyway, see you guys on the next one. Bye.